G'day guys, James here from Rapid Inflation Systems. The purpose of the video today is to show you guys the latest prototype of our patented central tyre inflation system. This central tyre inflation system has no hoses from the fender down to the hub like you see on some of the systems on trucks. Um, so basically the purpose of this one is it's suitable for four wheel drive. You don't have any hoses that you're gonna snag in the bush. The actual unit that puts the air through to the rotating assembly sits inside the diff housing and then the air goes out through the centre of the axle to a unit that sits on the rim. The unit that sits on the rim is basically just a sheet metal cover for a check valve and a solenoid. Um, so this system lets you inflate and deflate the tyres in any order you want. You can select individual tyres or you can select all four at once uh, and you have a pressure readout for each tyre and a temperature for the air inside each tyre on the dash. So we'll do a quick demo. So I'm going to select all four tyres and I'm going to inflate, they're inflating there. And I will select all four tyres and deflate them. That's all four tyres deflating. So some frequently asked questions that we get through our website is one, first one is does it unbalance my tyres? The answer is no, it doesn't unbalance the tyres. On this car, there's a counterweight up behind the fake beadlock. You don't need fake beadlocks. Uh, the counterweight may be visible if you don't have some way to hide it, um, but it doesn't unbalance your tyres. We also get how do I change a tyre or does it make it difficult or impossible to change a tyre? The answer is it doesn't. You remove the unit from the rim, you change your tyre and then you bolt the unit back onto the rim. Another question we get is, do you need to drill out the axles to get the air out? The answer is yes. We run a gun drill on a lathe down the center of the axles and that's how you port the air out the center of the axle to the hub without an external hose. How much do they cost and when can I get one is a big one that we get. They're not on the market yet, they will be soon. And how much they cost depends on what vehicle you have. They are vehicle specific. So if you drive a 76 series, you can't take the system off this car and put it on a Hilux and they have to be developed for each individual vehicle type. So they'll come out for the V8 Land Cruisers first and then the rest of the solid axle full wheel drives and we'll be doing IFS vehicles after that.